battle with Mikhail. James Edwards certainly getting the shot opportunities early. Dennis Rodman in a collision with Larry Bird. And, uh, they both landed. Hey guys, this is Dominique Williams. Yeah, this is Shark. Shark goes up to check the battle out hey, underneath. Hey, Dennis Hargasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Double Vince Carter wrap around here. Around hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out I'll the basketball time machine with, with the man, Sean Davis. Isaiah Thomas was called for that foul. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the basketball time machine. My name is Sean David. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. No, not too long ago, I started a series called How a Certain Player Cooked Another Player. And to me, those videos are super fun because it actually shows that in the NBA, the great players are unstoppable. And in this episode, I want to show you how Larry Bird used to cook Dennis Rodman. Two of my favorite players of all time, and even though Dennis Rodman is one of the greatest defenders of all time, Larry Bird was Larry Bird. Anyway, but before we start with that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please take a look at the video of today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Dave. You know, there was a time in my life when I was living paycheck to paycheck, and it got even so worse that I had no electricity, no joke. You know what I could have really used back then? Dave. Dave is the banking app that could help you to get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. Sounds amazing, right? But I'm not done. With Dave, there's no interest, late fees, or credit check. That's more money to fill your tank, finally get your car repaired, or catch up on bills without having to wait for your next paycheck. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. Download Dave today at dave.com slash btm. That's dave.com slash btm. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fee supply. Banking services provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. So where do we start? Now I think it would make sense to rewind it back, back to the 1980s where the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons and the Boston Celtics had their rivalry and to take a look how Larry Bird and Dennis Rodman had their matchups. Let's take a look. Oh yes, the 1980s, a time where the NBA was truly special. In those days, anything could happen. We had countless rivalries, countless fights, and countless superstars. All in all, I just loved it. One of my favorite rivalries were the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons versus the Boston Celtics, led by Larry Legend, Larry Bird. These two teams were stacked with great players who were great defenders, had a super high basketball IQ, and would do whatever it takes to win basketball games. The Celtics were the team to beat in the Eastern Conference, and the Bad Boys were the up-and-coming team that wanted to dethrone the Celtics. And the Boston Celtics had many guys who could also score, so naturally Detroit needed to be super smart in their matchups. Of course, the Bad Boys had many great defenders like John Spider Selly, Joe Dumars, Rick Mahorn, and of course the worm Dennis Rodman. In the 1980s, Rodman was still a puppy and was still figuring out his role on the Bad Boy Pistons. But being the smart guy that he was, he noticed that the Pistons already had enough guys who could score. So his main focus would be working harder than everybody and stop the best offensive player on the opposing team. And who would that be on the Boston Celtics? Well, of course, Larry Bird. And then there was the interview that basically shocked the entire NBA world. Now, back in the 1990s, so a little bit later, everybody knew that once you hold a microphone to Dennis Rodman's mouth, yeah, you gotta be ready for some, yeah, sometimes crazy stuff. But back in the 1980s, when Dennis Rodman was a rookie and still pretty new in the NBA, nobody knew what to expect. And then he said this. Pistons had lost to the Celtics in seven games in the 1987 Eastern Conference Finals. And in Detroit's locker room afterwards, the questions were about the superstar who dominated them again. And then things got complicated. 
It starts because an unsophisticated Dennis Rodman is asked about Larry Bird. And let's be real, it's probably the first time in Dennis Rodman's life that a white guy tuned him up on the basketball court. Dennis Rodman just went to Larry Bird University. Larry Bird was the god in the NBA. You know, he's like the, the great white hope. And I said, if Larry Bird was a black guy, he was, he'd just be a regular old, regular old basketball player. And I didn't realize what I said, you know. Well, I remember after playing uh, the Celtics uh, that year, you made a comment. You said, uh, Larry Bird is overrated in a lot of areas. Why does he get so much publicity? Because he's white. You never hear about a black player being the greatest. When you look back on that, do you still agree? Do you think that Larry Bird was overrated or do you think you were just mad at the time? No, I told you, I just, I just said, I said, I was green. I, I was just saying anything, man, just because, you know what? I was frustrated because guess what? I got my ass whooped by this kid. You know, so that's, that's why I, I probably said something like that, not because I was angry or hatred and stuff like that. No, it just came out like that. All right, now let's take a look how Larry Bird schooled and cooked Yo, Dennis Rodman. Getting ready to return to the game. Great oh, feed from Bird to for Danny Ainge. His move is supposed to be to drop back and protect on that cut. He's much too late. Clear the zone as Bird one on one with Rodman. Well, again, Rodman has done a good job. Of Nine on the shot clock. Bird six. Unloads and Rodman found it. Anybody's ever had about Larry Bird, he said, when you're playing against him, you're looking into the eyes of an assassin. Gilmore sets the pick. Now it goes out. Bird one on one with Rodman. Drew the foul. Well, you take a look and you see the help that Bird gets from Robert Perry. Just a little bit of a screen. That's a set play off the backboard. What a beauty. Johnson bounces it to Bird. That was a set play. Beautiful position. DJ off the glass. Larry Bird right there for the pass, and he scores. Lane Beer into Dantley. Past Parrish. Parrish gets him from behind. He kept that alive. Bird's open. McHale with a pass. McHale spotting Larry Bird underneath. Right here, Rodman makes a rookie mistake. When he hears the whistle, he should have grabbed it. Two shot blockers, Rodman and Sally. Bird for three. No, only two. He was stepped on the line. 4.42 and running. Bird's left-hander goal. Get that one out of the book. Bird does a you-can't-find-me, Dennis Rodman. And he comes up, and look at the move. By the time Rodman gets back out to him, Bird on his left hand. Battle with Mikhail. James Edwards certainly getting the shot opportunities early. Dennis Rodman in a collision with Larry Bird. And uh, they both landed in the first row. And As the shot goes up, check the battle out underneath. A headbutt, double arm wraparound, and a takedown trip by Dennis Rodman to Larry Bird. Are uh, they working hard out here to come up with the basketball, I'd say. I don't know if some of you guys remember, but I had Dennis Rodman on my show, I think like two years ago. And we talked, obviously, also about Larry Bird. And he seemed to be very much understanding about that his comments back then were, yeah, a little bit outlandish and a little bit out there. But then, a couple of weeks ago, I found a new interview of Dennis Rodman. And he said basically almost the same thing. Okay, not exactly the same thing, but he said that in today's NBA, Larry Bird would play in Europe. What? If Larry Bird played in this era, I think he'd be in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just letting you know, man. Really? You know, I like I said, I'm just say he'd be somewhere over there. I don't know what Dennis Rodman is talking about, but I do think that it's worth discussing if he is more or less skilled than Jokic. Now, as I mentioned in my other videos where a certain player cooked another player, Back in the 1980s and the 1990s, no matter how good of a defender you were, there are just certain players you can't stop. And especially when it comes to a Michael Jordan or a Larry Bird, I mean, it's obvious that, yeah, there's nothing you can do. And with Dennis Rodman being such a sensational defender, that again proves to me how good Larry Bird was. Because to me as a basketball fan, it really hurts that there are players and fans in today's world that doubt that Larry Bird was this sensational player. I mean, honestly, if you are a true old school, not a true old school, but if you are a true basketball fan, take the time, watch like two or three full games of Larry Bird. And if you have a little knowledge of the NBA and basketball, 
there is no denying that you can see that Larry Bird was the truth. All right, you guys. Anyway, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to have more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully, you'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.